Oregon and Tennessee has finished in Eugene, Oregon. It was a great game for the Ducks. Um, Tennessee jumped it out to a 7 0 lead. Nine straight possessions for Oregon. 59 7. Let's break down this ballgame, guys. Um, Tennessee looked at a good first quarter. Um, it held Oregon to about 10 points in the first quarter. Um, Oregon had scored 21 in the um, second, 28 in the third. No, I have that backwards. 28 in the second, 21 in the third. And Tennessee got seven points on Oregon's backups. Made it to a 14-59 victory for the Ducks. Um, that moves Tennessee to a 2-1, um, 2-1 record on the year. Oregon's obviously 3-0 with the number two ranking. Um, Tennessee has a big road ahead of them at Florida. South Alabama versus a cupcake and Georgia at home and I believe they have Alabama at home if I'm mistaken say it in the comments um, so Tennessee will go into comments to play Oregon will have a bye before the hosts um, California on the Pac-12 Network no time for that yet um, let's go into the stats I really thought the defense for Oregon was amazing. Um, Marcus Mariota, as soon as he got in the rhythm, was amazing. Passed for about 400 yards. We'll get to the stats later. And what I think about his Heisman campaign right now, um, the big player for Oregon was tight end Johnny Mock. Westman had it to step in. Poco Alaya was sick as a stomach virus, so he played it well. Um, so let's get to the stats. Um, Tennessee, 14 first downs to Oregon's 29. Um, third and down in conversions, Tennessee was 5 out of 15. Oregon was 6 out of 12. On the total yards, Tennessee had 316. Oregon had um, 687 passing was 138 for Tennessee, 471 for Oregon. Uh, rush yards, um, Tennessee had 178. Um, Oregon had um, 216 on the ground. Um, penalties 440 for Tennessee. Eight penalties, 62 yards, four penalties was in the first quarter of that spot to start for Oregon. Um, turnovers, um, one turnover for Tennessee, no turnovers for the Dutch, no turnovers in the first three games. Time of possession, 34 minutes for Tennessee, 26 minutes for Oregon. Um, let's go over the pass and the stats. Justin Rorty for Tennessee, 13 out of 25, 126 yards with one touchdown. Marcus Mayota, 233 yards, 456 with four touchdowns of a QBR of 97.5. That's amazing. Lane, 13 Ks on the 63 yards. Um, DeAnthony Thomas was the leading. Russia 13 Ks for 86 yards with a touchdown by the receivers for um, Tennessee. Smith, one reception, 51 yards. Neal, four receptions, 23 yards. Oregon, Josh Huff, six receptions, 425 yards. Johnny Mott, we talked about him a little bit. The true freshman. Five receptions, 121, and two touchdowns. Um, that's about it on the stats. Like I said again, Oregon has a bye week next week. Leave your comments below either on Facebook when I post this or on um, YouTube.
YouTube underneath the comments. Um, what videos should I do next? Should I talk about why I'm a Duck fan, Oregon football, where I think Oregon football is heading right now, or, um, or any type of matchup you want me to talk about regarding the Ducks or whatnot. So um, I'll leave it up to you guys. What should I talk about for the bye week? So, I really enjoyed it watching this game. I'll give it a B plus for Oregon. A little sloppy in the first quarter on offense. The defense for me gets an A, a plus. I, I thought they did a fantastic job on Tennessee. They had it too for us to win. Um, Oregon's defense is very underrated because the offense is so explosive. What not? 21 touchdowns of Hogan's 25 touchdowns this season has come under two minutes. Uh, that's an unbelievable speed and pace to play at. And Mark Hoffman, 3 0, um, heading into the bye week. Like I said, again, the California comes in here in two weeks on the 28th to play. So, yeah, once again, um, what videos should I do next for the um, Oregon history or why I'm a duck fan or um, what kind of question I should have covered regarding the ducks what you guys have. So I'll talk to you guys later. Go ducks. I love my ducks. Win up the day. And once again, go ducks. I'll see you guys on the next video. Go ducks.